Okay, everybody. I haven't done a Kit Fox 7 fuel injection install video yet, so I figured I'd do a walk around, show you this install I just completed. Did the 1484cc big bore on this one and the fuel injection. So just thought I'd show you some of where I place components, how it all fit in here. I love the Kit Fox boot cowl, the way it gives me accessibility behind the firewall for wiring and stuff just makes life really nice. Not having to dive under with my head, but got fuel pressure regulated mounted. I've got fuel incoming and return, both going through the firewall right there. Um, this guy didn't want the extra weight of any kind of cold air intake setup, so simple air filter right on the back. Kept pretty much everything off of the engine side for keeping the fuel cool as we can. I'll show you the fuel setup here. I've got our header tank. I've got, I reused the fuel selector valve. So there used to be a on off valve there. Repurposed that valve. So now it's a service valve for the filter and the pump. So if you need to service any of that, you can come under the seat, turn that fuel valve off, and uh, you don't have to completely empty your, your tanks to service your filters. So repurpose that there. That's a coarse metal screen before the pumps. So uh, just for the health of the pumps, keeps anything coarse out. has a pretty big surface area to keep from plugging with any contaminants. Got the fuel pumps mounted there. That keeps them in a good weight position for the Kit Fox, keeping the weight pretty centered, not near the firewall or ahead of the firewall. Keeps the fuel cool, the pumps won't be hot. There's the high pressure filter. Um, I could mount that in the engine compartment for ease of accessibility and for changing it out. But uh, you gotta look at stuff on an annual anyways, so why not put it in here? Keep it cool as you can, keep the fuel cool. So that's, that is uh, how everything fits in here. The rest of it, the standard Trixie intake fits in really well into the cowling, plenty of room. The other one thing you'll have to do is weld a bung in for your O2 sensor. Not too big of a deal on this. I've got the uh, coolant pressure or the coolant temperature sensor there. Relocated the coolant bottle out of the way. Reused the dual throttle, cut off the extra cable, and just ran the single cable here. I wired the ECU in to the master switch, so ECU comes on with the master. Used 20 amp circuit breaker switches for the fuel pumps. So added those two switches and uh, don't have to add circuit breakers since I'm using circuit breaker switches. Um, the only other change I did to this panel is added a fuel pressure gauge since he didn't have any. So that's just a glow shift gauge. You monitor your fuel pressure. Change colors if you want or you can turn it off. But red works good for night flying. But that's the install. Now it's time to go button it up. I'm gonna go button it up. I already added uh, two degrees of pitch to the prop. So we'll see if that's a close 
spot for RPM levels once we're done. May have to tweak it just a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna take it outside, tie it down, start it up, and do its initial tuning run. Make sure the mixture's all correct, and then it's ready to fly.